huge uh, transition too away from away from performance enhancing drugs. And uh, did you have some sort of moment where like Jesus came down and he had a conversation with you? He's like, you need to come back to the mm. good side. You've been on the dark side for a long time. Like what happened and what made led to some of those decisions? Yeah, so I mean, I was on anabolic steroids and ran cycles for nine years, right? I uh, started when I was 20 and then up until 29, that's when I came off. Um, so I was actually, I just done a meet. I tried a, a pretty big cycle. It was the biggest cycle of my life going into that meet. So the last two weeks, this wasn't during the whole duration of the cycle, but the last two weeks I was doing 1,500 milligrams of testosterone, enanthate. So one and a half grams of test, right? Very high amount. Would have been cool to see uh, what my test levels were like at that point. And then 1,200 NPP. So one, 1. 1.2 grams NPP on Nandrolone. What's NPP? Oh, that's... Yeah, it's, okay. it's like the uh, short, fast-acting version of DECA with less sides, I think. So it kicks in quicker. You don't get all the bad sides you get with DECA. And uh, threw that in as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh. Then there's got to be some orals, right? I mean, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. it's not an official cycle unless we're on three things at one time. Got to get all the food groups in there. Yeah, yeah get, okay. cover your bases. So I was doing Anavar for a while, about 50 milligrams a day. And I love Anavar. It's my favorite. That was. And then at the end, I came off that and did Halo testing because I tried to combine them. So I was trying to do Halo and Anavar at the same time. And the liver toxicity was way too much to handle. Um, to the point like you would take it and within 30 minutes you want to throw up because mm. you, you couldn't even I couldn't even sit up I'd be laying on the couch and I'd just be like I feel awful I feel like I'm gonna vomit the, so heart, like, the heartburn's nice oh it's just so much I, the, the heartburn wasn't too bad but the blood pressure too uh, where your your head feels like it's gonna explode mm. about yeah it was really healthy stuff you know <laughs> and and let me ask you this is that an exaggeration or does your head actually feel pressurized feels pretty pressurized. You Jesus. get a headache like legitimately 30 minutes after the halo testing. So you get the nausea because your liver is getting, it's under serious stress. And this, I was taking too much. I The last two weeks I tried to go 40 milligrams of halo, which is a absurd oh, dose. Wow. You want to do about 20. I mean, I'm not telling anybody to do that, but if you're a standard <laughs> dose, would be, a standard dose would be 20. You just broke in Sima. Yeah, I know. I was like, I'm not condoning this, but made his gorilla mind go down the wrong pipe. Like, like, I'm, yeah. I'm not giving advice lost. here. Um, fucking lost. You do 20 milligrams, and I'm like, let's go 40 because I really want to pull 900 officially. I've done it in training, right? A few times. I was like, I got to get it knocked out in a meet. And in the end, did I get it done? No. So I got the, the 904 to my knees and that was it. But that's kind of the, the long backstory. And then after that, my wife was like, if we're going to have a baby, let's do it now. Come off now. So um, after the meet, I decided to come off November. And then, you know, here we are. Been off for two and a half years. Mm. So it's been a wild ride. <clears throat> and hey, guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it. All right. Share this with a friend. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also, we are on Reddit and Discord. All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us, down below there too, so you can get whatever you like from us. All right? Peace.